<clears throat> there we go. We got a little bit of the black keys there with Shine a Little Light. And it is uh, it's off their new album that I've been uh, getting through, listening through that little bit at a time. Um, getting away from the Franz Ferdinand opening. So, hey, at least you've got a little bit of variety there. Uh, though I've definitely been playing a lot of a lot of those, a lot of yeah, yeah, black keys as well, and the strokes and Arctic monkeys and you know things like that. <laughs> There's been a lot of that on stream. Um, hmm. Whew. All I'm gonna say is that you know, like anyone who wasn't here yesterday to to, to see w why this is on the screen right now you motherfuckers is gonna be really confused i mean like seriously confused <laughs> um but don't worry just embrace it it's just it's, it's gonna it's gonna get get rid of these for a second <laughs> i left them up there nut time to watch twink break some more of his bones ah uh, yeah that's gonna be a fucking thing hey and sandy welcome my day has been pretty uneventful i had meant to do things and then just didn't which is pretty much how everything goes we, do we really need ike kong and that we can just have the the nuts right we can just have the nuts up there maybe you know what can we just get like just one nut maybe that's all we need is just one nut yeah yeah, yeah we don't need to we don't need to have too many nuts. You, once you got two nuts, then it's like the fucking the patriarchy gets involved, and it's like, whoa, now, whoa, that's that's one too many nuts to be having up in there. Yeah, nut. I'm sure I could somehow make that acronym make sense, but nah, nut. They were gonna bust up in here. <laughs> bust. <laughs> Bad choice of words. Um, and do some more Breath of the Wild, some more Twinks Gone Wild. Uh, move my keyboard so I don't accidentally kill the fucking recording. I already have enough issues of, uh, the whatchamabob of, uh, killing recordings. With this game specifically. And I have an issue of freaking, uh, putting I tomorrow I've got to put the two parts of the trails of Cold Steel stream last ones together to upload it because of how I had to stop the stream to try to fix the weird bitrate shit uh it didn't fix a whole lot I think looking back after the stream there was still plenty of dropped frames just maybe it was a little more bearable I don't I don't quite know that dude's huffing if you have too many nuts, then the FBI gonna be after you. Oh man, I've got, uh, I got memes for that. I don't want to invoke the FBI. I certainly have memes for it. Um, so, last time on stream, we cheaped the bitch out with, uh, boomerangs. After getting cheaped out ourselves with dickery. Um, as you know, my beauties. The boomerangs. Um, we got this thing too. What's this? What the hell is this madness? Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few interesting things up in here that we can uh, mess about with. So that's gonna be fun. But we just finished killing that, so I think I want to spend a lot of time exploring since we spent so much goddamn time in that dungeon. Like, never again, please. Whatever the next freaking dungeons are. They better be way better than what we just encountered because that was that was a bit of pain, man. That was really something that I'm not too fond of. It, it, mm -mm. Once we got to the boss, it was all right. It was just your standard "I can't fucking kill things" situation. But up until then, it was my addled fucking brain can't manage to think. Yeah, today has involved me not doing a whole lot. Played, uh, played a bit of Smash. Um, uh, faffing about with Ike again. Faffing about with, uh... I, I, I don't even really want to talk to you guys. I just want to go, like... How do I do this game again, actually? I really need to remember how this game functions. 
Okay, there's that. Yeah, I was messing around with Ike a little bit, messing around with, um... A wolf, stuff like that. Nothing too ridiculous. How do I, like, do this shit? There we go. Now, Link's having a good old time. Is Shulk still drunk? I didn't even touch Shulk. Shulk is... He's got a hangover right now. And he's gonna have to, uh... You asshole. I was peacefully doing my thing. And then you wankers have to come up over here. I don't even know how that happened. I watch these immediately come back to life. Because, um... Yeah... Yeah, but yeah, to put it bluntly, yeah, Shulk is still drunk. He's got a hangover. We didn't even touch his ass. I basically was just doing Ike and, uh, that was about it. Ike and Wolf a little bit. First time playing Wolf. Um, he seems like a cool character. It seems like, uh, something I could be down for. Hey, am I just gonna get insta-cucked because of that? No. Huh. <laughs> Not coming back now, asshole. hands um but yeah it was a it was a fun thing and my Ike stuff wasn't particular that that actually wasn't fun me playing Ike because it was literally just me messing around with um how was this I'm messing around with his dashes and uh no shit for brains messing around with dashes and um back airs can't land back airs and can't uh consistently do dashes which is an issue um i can't do dashes really well wow this is some fucking skate four level movement um what now what now um okay Was that <laughs> that went interestingly hey indigo welcome we now return to wandering in the desert pretty much um and apparently just running into some shit that i feel like i'm not going to be able to kill also how's the game audio yesterday we had uh we had an issue of turning the game audio down is it too low now or is like everything good because how i hear things is slightly different than how you guys hear it it's just uh Did I fuck this up again? There we go. But yes, hello, welcome. Ah, uh, we ain't stopping this time, son. As old Barrett says, there ain't no stopping this train, we all include. Do you think it's fine? Okay, it's good. Out of the way. It's good? Okay. Okay, we're dealing with this again. Hey, Zelda, could you kindly, like, oh, thank you. Please let me sh shut up, woman. We heard you before. Like, shouldn't, like, what is she doing at this point? Is she supposed to be, like, fighting Ganon or something the whole damn time? Like, how do you have the time to sit there and tell me about this stuff? Also, I get the feeling that there's going to be no chance in hell that I'm going to be able to fight this Muldegger thingy. So... I also don't remember how to do those... Look at that thing. Look at it. It's right down there. I also don't know how to do What's-Her-Face's um, lightning thing. I never really learned how to do that. I'm sure she told it to me, but I don't remember. So, you know, that's going to be a thing. Hey, assholes, now is not the time for you. Get up there, stupid. We're gonna we're gonna watch this thing from up high. What the hell is it? 
Um, you want her to shut up today in the demo you played? The lighting, it's and spin to win, I think. The li it's spin to win, okay. We're gonna have to remember that. Um, but where the fuck is he? Are you camera shy? Like, what's going on here? Also, what is this place? It's like a little mini oasis. This looks like a place to cook. Wait, isn't cooking during the blood moon, like, a good thing? Do we have anything, like, fire bit? Can I remember the controls? Light her up. That's, okay, that is the correct button. Welcome to me remembering the buttons. That's gonna be a thing. Some Hyrule base. How many times a fucking stream can I make that joke before we realize that I make it every single stream? Uh, swift carrots. Do we have anything, like, good? I guess we can make some of this. Anti-electricity? I mean, I don't really think it's gonna be good. Yes, but before the blood moon. So I fucked it up is what you're saying. Oh, I can't cook while enemies are nearby. Anyway, so... Looks like that ain't happening. Okay, can never go wrong with bomb arrows. How many do we have? Not a whole lot. Oh, there the little bastard is. The question is, how do you approach on this thing? Is it just like you just hit him from the rock? Well... I feel like standing there on those rocks isn't gonna work out very well either. But is he like really a danger? Isn't he just in here like being a sandfish? Like, I feel like there's no real reason to hurt him, you know? Like, we don't necessarily have to do this, right? You plucks out. We still do have the Savage Lionel bow. We've been uh, holding on to that beauty. Well, that hit, so... I feel like I shouldn't be wasting these. That's not doing shit for damage. Where's, like, your head? I want to, like, headshot you. I mean, we're not doing a whole lot of damage, and that thing's gonna recover very quickly. Where's it going? I need, like, its trajectory here. Yeah, get the fuck back over there, man. We're going in ballsy. We're going in ballsy. That's not it, Chief. That's not it. Um, bye! Shit, we are out of bomb arrows. I mean, it's weak. Shit, that ain't doing any damage. We're gonna have to wait for this little bastard to jump again. I feel like the bomb arrows would have probably taken him out. At least out of that. Like, he's recovering like crazy. Come on, do your jumpy shit, son. Okay, at least he can't recover all the way. Where the fuck is he? Where are you going, my dude? Like, we need to have a chat. You can't be running like this. Yeah, get your ass over here. He ain't getting away. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Now we just need to 
get the fuck over there with this. Um. Hmm. Bye. Ain't letting that happen. We out of ravioli? Oh shit, we're out of ravioli. This could be it, man. This could be ugly. We've we've lost our ravioli. You experienced Joy-Con drift during the demo. Where the fuck is this thing? Oh no. Oh, that's a no bueno. Fuck over here. You ain't running, son. We've been through this. Nintendo must really want some money because now they're selling real world Splatoon 2 gear. That's been like that in Japan. God, Lionel Bo, I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose you, Lionel Bo. I say as I miss basic bitch shots. Get up there, son. Get over, asshole. Oh, no. We got a bit of a... We're in a bit of a pickle. Where you going? Come on, asshole. I'm wasting all of my good arrows here. Use ice arrows, because those clearly aren't good arrows, yeah? Learn to aim, twink. This is, this is not good. It's in NY, not US. What is NY if not, like, New York? Get the fuck back over here. Oh my god, look at him get away. Is this really going to happen? Like, I need to lure his ass over here. Twink, now is not the time. Now is not the time, man. Up. Hey, buddy. What you doing tonight? Get over here. Yes. Fucking take it. Nailed. We lost the Savage Lionel Bow in the, pr in the process. You know, pay your respects to those who have fallen. But we just killed a fucking Moldoga. Hell yeah. This better be some great shit in here, by the way. Like, maybe another Savage Lionel Bow? Knight's Halberd. I'll go fuck myself. A g Ooh. But I'll also go fuck myself. What can we get rid of? The Knight's Halberd, huh? Um. We can't get rid of the Boomerang Crew. Like, we know this. We know this. Thunderblade. Is that thing close to breaking, guys? Like, do we know what that thing's at? It, we've had it for a while, but how much have we used it? The golden claymore here. There's this. I might just give this the chucker. Um, for the great, the great thunderblade. Great thunderblade to me is very valuable. Anything with stunlock, you're talking extra primo value right there. Um, I wish you could rearrange this a little more. Do I get rid of the ancient axe for the the halberd? Or do we just get rid of the other golden claymore here? <laughs> just break your fucking toe. Actually, Knight's Halberd has, like, no fucking damage. Maybe we just get rid of you. Yeah, that was a hell of a throw. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're good. I think we've got the stuff here. We fucking killed it. I feel like a badass. It's great. 
Now we can go back to that what's her face woman and be like, hey, we killed the dude for you. Uh, give us reward. I'm actually surprised I was able to kill it. If it weren't for those damn bomb arrows and that Lionel bow, we would not have killed that thing. I mean, also, Nabora's mad lightning shit, but the bomb arrows came in clutch with that Lionel bow. That Lionel's death was put to great use. Okay, we gotta remember, even if we're like hero of the village, we gotta be a pretty prince. Why do I have two of these? And guys, why do I have two of... <sighs> Link just wants to be extra pretty. I don't fucking know. Reward for Madoga Guts. Yeah, I mean... Look. Let's not... Let's, let's not. You have to... Who the hell are you again? Yeah. I haven't really got the time to be greeting people, honestly. Now that the Divine Beast has finally calmed down, there should be a rush of customers any second. Mm. So why did something like this have to happen to me now of all time? Oh. I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need to make it- I needed to make my items. If only I had ten. Just ten. If some kind Vi would give me ten pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. You bought the other color in Gerudo Town when you first came? I'm glad you have a good memory, because I sure as hell don't. Mm. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem type has its own power that can transfer to whoever wears it. Mm. There's nothing I can do about not having any flint, though. Maybe you should make a flint acquisition, uh... Accessory. I'm sorry that you came all the way to see me for nothing. I actually, I came all the way to see the arrow sales lady. So, yeah. How much money do we have? Probably not enough for this. Especially if it's 20 times 60. Maybe we just go with the... Yeah, we'll just go with that. Eh. So wait, there's two different colors? I just realized this. Can we like miss and match? Oh yeah, there are two different colors. Oh. Why aren't we looking extra weird? Nobody's gonna pay attention to the fact that he just switched fucking colors, changed his clothes right in front of them. And where's the girl who I need to turn in the fucking guts to? There's a quest for that, right? Who do I need to do that to? It's you. Yep. Oh, it's you. My husband was the first to vote ever tell me I was beautiful. Uh, not surprised. Mm. I love him so. And so I need those Moldoga guts. But no matter what, but what can I do on my own? Take them. Wait, wait these... <laughs> Moldoga guts. Yeah, I mean, eat up. You'll give these to me. Oh, it's Sark was Sarkzo. Yes, fucking speaking Klingon. This is all I have to thank you with, but I insist you take it. Five bomb arrows, incoming. That's it. This will save him. That's it. Guys, the savage Lionel Bow just died for the sins of 300 rupees. Fuck her husband. Like, who cares about that dude? 300 rupees? Like, eh. Hey, I know, you know, it's all you. You feel good. You saved a person's life at the cost of the Lionel Bow? At the cost of my cheap out weapon? I'm not feeling good about that. Oh, oh you're back. They're all just sounding the same. I can't do different Gerudo voices. Dude, go grab the bomb arrows. 
That was a bundle. Oh, a bundle of 20 for 600? Okay, I'll go back and grab them here real quick. I'm glad you're okay. Surely I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naboris anymore. Not an individual price. Yeah, we need to go back and grab those then. We need bomb arrows. Oh, I want to offer these as thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. If they have savage Lionel bows, yes. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Urbosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Urbosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. Too bad I don't remember. Can I just have this, though, instead? Halt! That is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunderhelm! You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Oops! Dad. Be calm yourself, Valeria. You desire this helm? Yep. I see. And yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Hmm. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa. And all of mankind, in, in case you, you forgot about that one. And if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Yes. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. Well, looks like we're fucked. <laughs> I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. Oh, we've just unlocked a can of worms. I don't know if we wanted to, man. We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all of my people's problems with power alone. But tell that to the dead Moldolga out there. What's this? Simidar of the si Nice. But go fuck yourself. <laughs> Daybreaker. Nice. But go fuck yourself! Oh, looks like we've got some inventory management to do. Um... What do we get rid of? Guess we just drop that. Yep. How does it look? Yeah, it looks pretty nice, man. That looks pretty damn nice, not gonna lie. Now we gotta figure out what weapon to drop, and this is the the other great issue that I don't like. Oh, we can't get rid of the boomerangs, guys. These things are, are precious heirlooms that cannot be dropped. They've saved us in more ways than one can imagine. Um... Do we just get rid of the golden claymore? Here, you can take that shit. Famous sword, once beloved by the Gerudo champion Urbosa, it is said that when Urbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. And now then, the hands of the Twink of Time. It's a good combination, though, man. Like, really, this stuff definitely looks nice together. Got the gold bow to go with it. This is a this is a good set. <laughs> in before it breaks in 20 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, we could talk to you. I'm sure you've got riveting things for us to do. But look, man. We've got, like, places to go and stuff, man. So, we're just gonna take these great heirlooms and everything. And, um... We're just gonna piece the fuck out. And explore the world again. Because that's what this particular stream is gonna be. This is gonna be an exploration stream. But well, really, we're not, we're not using that yet. Oh. 
Rivali's gale is now ready. Yep, ravioli. So again, I found myself playing Warframe again in recent. Um, and trying to grind for things as if that's, you know... As if there's anything else to do in, in Warframe. Um, shit, what did I just do? I literally... Didn't I... I'm glad I lo forgot the bombers. I literally looked back in chat... And then saw not the individual price, and then you saying the bomb arrows. Fuck. This is my addled fucking brain, man. I have no memory. I can't remember a damn thing. Ever. Dear God. Thank God for you and chat and everyone else who sits there and reminds me to do things. This is why I can't even remember to fucking feed myself. Literally, the dinner tonight was... A sandwich and applesauce and then ice cream because always ice cream. And then yesterday's dinner was pancakes. I've just literally went from breakfast to lunch and maybe tomorrow we'll actually get a real dinner. A rare real dinner. All of them. 1800. Yeah, it sounds about right. So how many arrows do I now have? Good. Don't mind me, just pulling out my bow. Uh. Yeah, we'll just be taking all of them. <laughs> Always get the foods. But yeah, I've been doing Warframe stuff. Oh, I didn't do too much today. I was mostly playing a, a Smash today and just kind of faffing about. You okay there, Twink, man? Faffing about. Um, and, but I decided, you know what? I need, like, fucking a Tellurum or whatever the hell it is. So I literally just went into a freaking Uranus. <laughs> um, I went into a Uranus survival and... Just took Ivara and just, just stood there fucking plunder on. That's it. <laughs> just stood there and just robbed things out. Got four tolerant amount of it. It was like, good. My job here is done. I honestly should have went, like, private mode instead of public. Because, man, sitting there trying to do that when every asshole and his grandmother is flying around you. Sitting there trying to freaking hit all the enemies and kill them. I'm like, guys, can you, like, wait... 0.9 seconds, or it wasn't even that, it was like 0.8 seconds, so that I can rob the enemies of extra loot. What are you? Back off, son. I've got the big shit now. I've got the swole, okay? You don't want to handle the swole. The Lionel Spear is still here, even if the bow isn't. You taking that? The spear is. Can't handle it. Just like the truth. Can't handle it. That's an insta save. <laughs> Those things usually cuck me. Hey, I'm grinding for a few uh, wonderful things in, in Warframe. Equinox Prime and also a Cronin Prime. I will say, Equinox Prime going to probably be much easier to get than regular Equinox. Because, God fucking damn, regular Equinox, man. Oh, 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 oh. It took me like fucking days grinding that shit. And it was boring as hell. I mean, I'll probably stream a little bit of Warframe tomorrow because I was requested to do so. I'm gonna be honest. It's not a particularly enjoyable to watch game. That's why I think I'll only do a few hours of it. It's a couple and uh and that's that. It's fun as hell to play, but just watching it, I feel like would bore the living hell out of most people on stream. I mean, you know, maybe you guys will enjoy it. I don't know. You guys watch my shit normally, and that's probably boring as hell, so maybe you're just masochist, man. Who knows? Man, it would be real great if I had, like, the freaking, uh, the treasured shield and everything. They're like, the Gerudo's greatest treasure now being used as a snowboard. Is this real or is this fake? 
looks real. Opal. So I know every now and then we get some fun jape enemies in here with these chests. Get back over here. So I'm not really sure where I'm going or where I even should be going. I'm just kind of uh, East Gerudo Ruins. Well, I haven't been here yet. Okay, that's pretty damn cool. We just need to put the balls in. Yeah, the nuts. Can't escape from nut. Are you ever, though? Um... The... Don't kink shame me. <laughs> Getting lost. Twink's kink. I mean, that's just how I do things, though, man. I sit there and break things until they eventually work. I just sit there and faff about until eventually I figure something out. I say. Or until I put myself to sleep. That's another thing. Like last stream, where I was, like, half fucking dozed trying to do uh, puzzles in that ruins. Which, to be honest, I don't even think me being fully awake would have helped with that. That was just a shit show. What was that? I mean, it's just very easy to get distracted in a game like this. Especially t since I, with open world games, tend to play without maps. I just somehow prefer to not have a map. I feel like maps sometimes ruin the, uh, the feeling of exploration. Are we missing one? Huh. Definitely missing one. We're getting plenty of this, but... I think another thing that tends to make things uh, an issue, and this is going to be an issue with Warframe, is like, uh, at least when I stream it, is that games like these, especially open world games, definitely require a lot of good commentary. I don't really have much, man. Like, that is, as a streamer, that's always kind of been, like, my weakest thing, is when there's this kind of dead zones, filling in that gap. Why am I going up here as intended? Just fucking climb the thing, Link. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we've discovered why I was going up there as intended. This game was designed to be distracting, interesting things that might be important, look important. Well, this looks important, so... Um, buddy, you're able to just, like, walk up there, yeah. No, yeah, ha We can get a good bird's eye view up here, but I don't think we can. Are you shitting me, son? I've got an idea. Like I said, 
When in doubt, ravioli out. But yeah, my, my commentary is certainly the uh, weakest part of me as a streamer. Always has been. And I think it's partly because I don't really have the best of stories to tell. Most of my time is, I don't know, like I feel like my spare time is, you know, doing the stream. Uh, or faffing about with other games, which really does that make for much interesting commentary. Can we please though, man? So, this, uh... Are we missing one? Am I missing something? Yes, I am. We're missing one more, it looks like. Great. Definitely shouldn't have gotten off of that ledge, huh? I feel like eventually I'll uh, approve, improve rather, not approve. Improving in commentary quality, but. Again, it's one of those things where it's like, once I once I get decent stories, then it happens. But until then, yeah, not quite. Hmm. Get up there, Twink. Every moment of everyone's life is an experience unless they sleep without dreaming. Just talking brings it out. Does it, though? Like, I feel like I say the same shit all the time. Like, I'm not disagreeing with, like, you know, every experience is, like, every moment is an experience. Um, it's just that I don't necessarily think mine are particularly interesting, man. I guess someone does. I don't know. But I, I don't always feel like the stuff that I do is particularly interesting. I don't know how the hell you guys watch my stuff. Feel I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't watch my shit. I want to have to listen to myself, and dear God, that's a thing. But then also, too, just like, there's a lot of dead time in a large RPGs like this. And that is an issue with RPGs uh, just as much as it is with the person who uh, streams them is that there are certainly a lot of uh, uh, downtime that you, you need interesting stories. The most interesting story I can say of recent is, you know, the spider bro who has been living on my door. Yeah, he's gone. I don't know where he went. He disappeared. Now, another spider bro decided he was going to try to, like, fucking hang out around my head, around my desk. And that didn't last long. He got smashed. But this was a different spider bro. So... Previous Spider Bro is now MIA, and that's a little concerning because that means he could just be like, I don't know, like fucking up my ass without me knowing. He could be Ant Man, and this boof pops out, and you get freaking Thanos Thanist. It ain't gonna be pretty. Where the hell did they hide this thing? And why did it need to be hidden? I don't like playing hide-and-seek. I'm bad at it. Which should be quite evident from the situation here. What is this dickery? Cedric Dickery coming in hot here. Everyone is interesting to someone that someone may not even know. Huh. God, that moon's looking damn nice, though. Did you miss Twink break more bones? No. I haven't really missed a whole lot of anything, really. I'm just kind of trying to figure out where the fuck this other ball is. We're looking for balls. Which, I mean, <laughs> hasn't Twink been doing that the whole time? But now we're looking for, like, very much obtainable balls, as where previously they weren't all that obtainable. I 
I get with Excuse me. <whistles> Guys, I'm a dumbass. Two of them in there. Never mind. Crisis averted. We ain't looking for jack shit anymore. Yep, you got one. You have two because you're a greedy bitch. There. Guys, what now? Balls have been returned. Sorry, Twink's name is no longer Twink. It's no nipple Twink. Yeah, it's the nippleless Twink. Very unfortunate, man. Because now it means we can't extract the muscle milk. See, how many times have I made that goddamn joke? Every time nipples, male nipples show up, muscle milk joke has to come out. Whoa. I think more peppers. Peppers, yes. Spicy peppers have been now condensed into speppers. I'm missing something with this. I mean, obviously, I, I have to be, but... Also, hold the fort. What the hell is this? What is this place? What is that up there? Oh, wait, that's Nambora's. Never mind. You know what? On second thought, we don't have to worry about that. Fuck that thing. Get up there, twink. So we've got all the balls in position, yeah? Is there a specific one? For each hole? Ah, <clears throat> oh, we've got all of them in. But now what? Actually, I just realized something. You were talking about playing the demo earlier, right, uh, Indigo? But you were talking about playing the demo a few weeks ago as well. How... What the hell? How often do you fucking go to the store just to play the demo of this game? Good, let's just break this a little bit. Somehow I thought those would be destructible, and I don't know why. Like, because if you're mentioning all the times you've played the demo, you just, like, gotta get my weekly demo in of Zelda. This week's gonna be speedrun tactics. Is that a button? Like, what the hell is that? I mean, for the sake of interest in the stream, I might just fucking leave. Just the last time and today. And the day before and the day before that. In fact, I've just become a manager at Walmart just so that I can sit there and get access to this. In your defense, you went for eggs. Yeah, eggs are alright. I found myself realizing how shit of a cook I am when I tried to make an omelette and fucked it up. Now you might be wondering, how this dickhead fuck up an omelette? You literally just put the fucking eggs in the dish, stir them a little bit, and then the voila, omelette, right? Well, that's if you're a normal person. If you're me, you put it in there, you store it, you store it, stir it, and then you know you try to do the omelette fold, the classic omelette fold. Despite the fact that there ain't jack shit in the omelette, it's this classic omelette fold, and then realize that you have more of like a fucking toilet paper sized omelette, as opposed to your normal like perfectly closed over omelette. Which it was at that point I realized that I'm truly indescriptibly fucking horrendous at, at cooking. Like, my words don't do it justice enough of how bad I am at cooking. Hope that 
behind it. What's that? I feel like we just need to activate it somehow. But I think tomorrow I'll, uh... I'll try to omelet again. Mostly because I need to sit up in my seat. And we're dropping streams. Rip. At least you don't eat your ingredients. Okay, well. This is cute. Is it just Twitch or is the whole internet down? Yeah, whole internet's down. It loves to do this. At this point, we can just sit here and wait, and we can talk about eggs again, and me, like, trying to reawaken. Ah, the classic. It always likes to do this during the stream. That's the, uh, that's the fun part. Always during the stream. Ugh. And also, I will say, these streams, the streams of Zeld, these tend to hit me with the fatigue early on. More so than any of the others. Trails can do it too. I think that's because of the stream of them tends to, uh, tends to be a little more, well, yes, more slow starting up. And then, uh, it sort of, uh, falls into it, if you will. But, uh, once they get started, once you get into them, they start getting good, but it's just a matter of getting into them. And it's a matter of making sure my internet functions. That's a whole new fun. Oh, yeah. Mm. The Kool-Aid man yawn. This is gonna be the as if things weren't boring enough. Now we just have this for the recording and for YouTube. I'm just gonna jump around, man. It's not like I have a whole lot better to do at this point. Eventually, something will reconnect. And it does always hit the hardest um, during the stream. Come on. Okay, looks like now we're beginning to come back here. Yeah, looks like now we're uh, reconnecting. Good old happy crashes. Well, not crashes. That was the internet crash, not a not an actual crash. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure we are good and back all the way. Okay, looks like we are. Yeah, and sorry about that. Uh, internet decides that it likes to die in the middle of streams. Again, you didn't miss much. I climbed to the top of this. I'm still absolutely fucking confused. And we are now dropping frames like it's a fucking job of ours. Hold on. Yeah, we are indeed back in Sandy. It's good to see that. Put the bow away. Actually, switch off arrows, too. Put the bow away. 
Um, let's see, how's frames looking? I'm gonna spin a bit. Spin! Who win? It looks like things are doing alright. Looks like we aren't, uh, dying any further. Again, sorry about that. Internet likes to, uh... Why is there another ball there? How are these balls flying out? Did they reset this thing? What the fuck? I am so confused. I think it reset. But yeah, we are indeed back. Um, what was I even talking about? Was I talking about anything? By the way, there is a rat outside your doorstep. Um, end it, man. That's the only correct solution. End it can't let that thing get all... Should you eat it? Hell yeah, you should eat it. I remember when I was younger, there was a flood um, in the area. My house, when I was younger, was uh, right next to a creek, and the creek flooded. And a rat ended up in our house. And I remember my father grabbing a baseball back, taking that thing out to the front porch. He, like, grabbed it by the tail, threw it up in the air, and fucking home ran that bitch across the street. Still remember that shit. That thing went fucking flying, man. That it got massive eated. But yeah, you don't want to let rats uh, get all rat cozy up in your uh, up in your place, man. They got the cheese. You don't want that. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing here. So if anyone has any wonderful tips, tricks, or anything else, please, by God, tell me because I'm running in circles and wondering if this is a good idea. Unless... Does this hit all of them? Maybe we, like, give them some power? Well, that was my last idea. Rip neighbor's backyard. Uh. Man, neighbor will live. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm trying to think if I have any weird neighbor stories. I got one weird neighbor story. It's not too much of a weird neighbor story. Um, so, I remember there was like a... My father, when I was younger, ordered this like fucking treadmill, right? Now, I'm not gonna lie. I think treadmills, personally, are like a gigantic fucking 2000 electric fucking sidewalk. Like, they are the biggest waste of money. If you want to go and exercise and walk, go pace. Go take a walk on a sidewalk. Like, don't buy a fucking, what is essentially, again, an electric sidewalk. But he ordered one anyways. That thing rarely ever saw use. Um, and um, I had to be the asshole to, because no one was there, to get this thing from the front door into the house somehow. And I remember, I, I, there was no way I was getting this thing in there. It just was, it was not happening. So I remember having to ask the neighbor, right? So I go over to the neighbor's house, knock on the door. This dude opens up in a fucking pink flower bathrobe. And he's just like, oh yeah, I'll help you. I'm just like, um, did I walk in on something? Why are we in a pink flower bathrobe, my dude? Like, again, don't want to don't wanna be the kink shamer of time here, but excuse me? Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a weird one. That was a, um... I, I wasn't down the clown with that one kind of a situation. But, it, sure enough, he was able to help and we got the fucking thing in after I had sat there for hours faffing about with it, so... I mean, I guess it worked out in the end.
I don't think there are any other really weird neighbor stories. You have a weird neighbor story? Go for it. I've got weird fucking college stories. But I feel like those are things I maybe want to save for when more people are here. Because those are some fucking good ones. What's your what's your weird neighbor story? What? Abort. 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 Oh my god, it's right there. Okay. Good. Grandma's getting your brother off his bus. And she went inside for your brother. Okay, this is getting... This is already scary. Now we've involved grandmother and child. Okay. That didn't quite go as planned. The next door neighbor was looking in your wi living room window. Dude. This is very similar to one of the fucking stories I was thinking of telling. Um. And this is, this is very similar to the, the story that I would like to say. This is the story of the frisbee fucks. The frisbee fucks. So. Um. Unless there's more to what your your story is, unless you're like your grandmother went out there and fucking beat that bitch with a broom, because dude, if so, then your grandmother kick ass and she definitely uh definitely make sure you're eating from the same cookies she's making. But like the story of the frisbee fucks is uh. In college, right? This is the senior year of college. So senior year of college, I um I had a roommate, but he was never really around. Th this this kid, we I, I just like to call him like fucking Cthulhu kid, cause he the things he would Nothing to see here. Um but uh so, I mostly had the dorm to myself, and I would often eat in the dorm. This I did all four years, but I would often eat in the dorm. And one night, I'm eating. Just, I, I'm having like a fucking sub or, some, or something like that, I think. Um, and so, frisbee fucks, what would happen is that there are these people who would play frisbee. Now, even though my room was on the second floor technically, ah, uh, fuck, here we go again. Oh, he's getting around that, huh? Oh, he can get around that. Fuck. This is not looking good. Um, but even though my freaking um, room is on the second floor, because the building was built directly on a hill, my um, room was, like, at exact fucking... Where am I? My room was at a uh, exact um, eye level, essentially, or ground level to the back side of the building because the hill went up it. And uh, these people, there was like right outside of my window, there was this um, basically this just a little like opening grassy area where people would sit there and play frisbee or whatever the fuck they're doing. Great, whatever they play frisbee, yay. Not really my thing, but. Whatever. It's a free fucking country. They can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah? Well, and they're often quite loud about it. But I'm sitting there eating dinner one night. Just, you know, quietly minding my own fucking business. And I get this instinct to just, like, I don't know, look to my, uh, my right. And, yeah, give me that flint. Um, and in my, my window, so my window had blinds, but there was a, a pardon the, the pun, a blind spot where you could kind of see in on the, like, if you're facing into the, uh, coming into the room, it's on the left side, the very end corner. And I look over, and there's this motherfucker, one of them frisbee fucks, is just, like, peeking one of his goddamn eyes in there watching me eat. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here talking about how I don't know how people think watching my streams is interesting. This asshole thought watching me eat was interesting. Excuse me? Like, what? Like, what if I was just in there fucking, like, 
ass naked, slathering myself up with fucking maple syrup and chocolate syrup or something. Like, like what then? Would he have enjoyed it then? Probably. Like, I don't, like, it, mm. that was one of them, them weird situations, man. And it's, it, what you said has certainly reminded me of, of that. Hey, buddy. Okay, we did not need that anyways, huh? You didn't need that weapon. That's creepy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I kind of wish I didn't break all of my weapons there. But I also kind of wish that I, uh... Had been naked, slathering myself up with chocolate syrup. I feel like that would have been very much something that they would have deserved to see. Yeah, you hold your ass right there. My god, all of these weapons that I didn't throw out are now breaking. Saw that coming a mile away, dickhead. be taking all of that but yeah that was just um just remember that for when you're in college one day that's all i'm saying oh we got a tri boomerang got one of the big boys again now we got two big boys No. Not dealing with that, buddy. And again, there were there were plenty of weird college stories that I had for sure. Golden bow is badly damaged. Cute. Why do the weapons break so easily? Um, because Twink doesn't know what he's doing with his life. I have no idea. Okay, we can't get that. But hey, we got more boomerangs. Look at this. We are the boomerang crew. Like, this is just my go-to weapon. Boomerang and thunder weapons. And that ain't even, like, an exaggeration. Those really are the weapons I just instantly gravitate towards. Also, guys, we're doing it wrong. Look, I guess we can keep that on. Oh. He's going to look pretty in, in pink or whatever fucking color that is. No. Yeah, there's another one down there, and I'm not exactly, uh... Not exactly thrilled about that. Hey, buddy. Out of here. Don't mind me just murdering your friend. Time the ninja's ass. I found a weird video yesterday on YouTube. Man, that's a surprise. Weird videos on YouTube? No. Well, that ain't it, Chief. Um, might wanna. Where do you think you're going with that, buddy? Why is this guy so swole compared to the rest? Still hitting the wrong buttons. He's gonna attack. Oh, I missed that. Oh, you are. You're, you're a tricky one. Uh uh. Get back into the stun lock zone, buddy. It's stun lock zone. Ooh. Yeah. 
at why is he so swole holy shit you might put it in discord what kind of video was it oh god there certainly are uh, some interesting things because he's old and ugly eh? Shouldn't that mean he should be, like, fucking dying of hemorrhoids and have heart problems or something and, like, need to take a nap? I mean, not gonna lie, the need to take a nap part sounds a lot like me, but at least I'm not dying of hemorrhoids and heart palpations. Nope. Saw that coming. Please die. Thank you. I don't want to end up breaking any more weapons than I need to. What the hell is that? What is this madness? South... Lome Labyrinth? <laughs> Guys, what's that noise? You're gonna put it in now? Oh no. The memes. Hopefully it isn't that fucking bagel guy story. Apparently some dude, like... Started bitching about his height or something in a fucking bagel store or something like that. And then he got his ass tackled to the ground and, like, fucking choke held. In which case, like, good. Like, stop being an asshole. Um, we don't have any, uh, stamina or anything, do we? Yeah, we do. Energizing fruit and mushrooms. Eat. Oh my fucking god. It's an actual maze. No, don't destroy Ganon. I mean, yes, destroy Ganon, but destroy him on our own time. Golden bow is still badly damaged. Well, you got the duplex bow. Okay, we actually do need to stop you before you do anything asinine. Okay, never mind. He's not gonna he's not gonna alert everyone. Okay. Nah. The cheapening continues. Get the hell out of here. You're still alive down there, really? Yeet. Oh, idiot, you yeeted in the wrong direction. This isn't fucking Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing enough damage. Okay. Where do I go with this? So we're on top of the labyrinth, so that's a good thing. I think. I think this is going to be better than being, like, in it. There appears to be a chest in there. The you name it challenge? What the fuck is that? What the oh, hell? I'm gonna save it before I go down. Except I'm gonna hit the wrong button. But I'm gonna intend on saving it before I go down there. Those who sit of my blessing awaits you at the labyrinth's end. This wasn't the end? Nice. Except fuck myself again. 
I like this music. That is one thing. There's not a whole lot of music in this game. But when it's there, it's noticed. Just be careful watching it. Oh, God. Here we go. It's dangerously Mimi. Okay, the trick to any maze is to just stick to one side. We're just gonna stick to the right. I'm pretty sure this means we're going in circles already. No, no, see, see, we're making, we're making progress here. So this might be one of those situations, man. Um, why is, why is there some purple jam up in here? Shut the fuck up. You're ruining the music, son. Sun. Fourth was all spear. Yeah, it's not that good. Serve or not? Re really? We're doing this again? Stream? Wrong button. Internet is being extra fun tonight. Extra fun. And so I think the main reason why this is happening is, again, severe thunderstorms in the area. I'm going to actually, uh... I'm going to actually try to check this. Holy fucking shit. i check this out right now. Um, actually, I might not be able to check it out because, you know, my phone likes to not fucking connect the thing. The things. Putting in city. And let's see if it finds things. Even though, like, you know, you can use the data. Oh, it's not going to do it. Yeah, it's going to sit there and be like, you're not connected to your own internet. I'm like, no shit, I'm not connected to it because it's fucking dead, asshole. That's why you use the data. That's why I fucking pay for data. Else, what the hell's the point? Oh, fuck my life. What a fucking meme. No, you idiot. I hate cell phones, man. Did I ever tell you guys I hate cell phones? Because, man, could we have a whole fucking conversation on that. Data usage, by the way, is on on my phone. It's just deciding to literally not use it because it, oh my god, it thinks that, like, I only want to be connected. This is, this is some diggery. We're going to put the phone down now. Put the phone down just like how the internet has put the stream down.
Look at Twink, though, man. He might not be wearing any pants, but he at least looks fucking fabulous with this shield. Now all we have to do is, like, fashion frame him up with the sword. Boom. Now he's really looking special. Oh, well, not the bow, you shit for brains. There you go. Look at this sword, man. We'll say it is pretty damn nice. Maybe not my type with that kind of guard, but pretty nice nonetheless. Is the stream still down? Like, how long is this gonna happen? Did we just get like completely? Like, I can't sit there and appraise Twink's body forever, man. Look at your thighs; they're real nice. How about those calves down there? You really take care of yourself on leg day. Um, I will say, though, one thing. That scabbard. Is that even possible? Well, no. Yeah, it looks like they account for it. Like, if you see it, if, you, if we take off the bow here real quick. I'll be able to, uh. The bow. Yeah, yeah, hold on. You can see that. Yeah, it's got that in there. So this, the, the actual thicker part can fit. That's, uh, that is well thought out on Nintendo's part, actually. That is well thought out. Because a lot of times you'll see games do have, they'll have like these weird shaped blades and everything. And then the scabbards will just be like a, a complete refitting of the, uh, of the sword. Like a copy and paste job with a blade. And then you're like, that whole thing can't be closed. There's no way you could get the top part through the thin, uh, the thin part of the scabbard. You can't get the, the the thicker edge of the blade through the thin part of the scabbard. Wouldn't be possible. So it's good that Nintendo here accounted for that. Is there a scabbard for this? There is. Okay, yeah, that. That seems about right. There wouldn't be anything too weird with it. That's a pretty straightforward one. Then I don't think there's a, a scabbard for this. Nah, he just holds that thing somehow. Lord knows how. God, I love the lightning blades, though. Besides being cheap as fuck. They are just nice to look at. I've never really taken the time to look at these things before. And now that we literally can't do anything else, looks like this is what we're doing. Yeah, they really put some, uh, they put some detail into this, man. And there's this, which I... Still, man, this is a fucking cool weapon. Completely impractical. It, it, well, at least as it works, flying as a boomerang, you're gonna fucking kill yourself. But, you know, it is certainly nice to look at. It's pretty damn nice. Might be effective as just a regular old melee weapon, I don't know, it seems kind of ridiculous. And then you got this thing. <laughs> yeah, we're good, man. Oh, I see how the scabbard on that works. Yeah, you can see it right behind the shield. It's not like a full-on thing. It's just enough to hold it in there. It's more of a holster than anything else. Internet, please. Yeah, this is like hard dead. We might have to. We might have to come back to this, like. Tomorrow. No, oh, yep, yeah, site can't be reached. Yeah, we might get fucked out of this. We might have to come back to this shit tomorrow. God damn it. This is gonna be more things that I'm gonna have to combine together. Welp. That's a fun rip, I guess. Yay. Because I'm not going to, like, just sit here and, like, do nothing. 
not that I don't do that really with any other fucking game anyways. Just sit here and do nothing. Isn't that just like, literally the stream? We're going to play a tactical, see if we can fix this shit. But I'm not expecting it. We may, uh... We may just end up having to do this come tomorrow, along with the Warframe. It can be Warframe and then this. But let me let me see if I can fix anything. We're gonna kill the recording here and see if we can uh fix any of this mess. <laughs> 